We began the restoration about three years ago, really, with the roof replacement that was funded by a donor. And then we had a grant from the county for the brick restoration. And all of the damage that had happened to the Renaissance was years of neglect and water leaking through the roof. So once we got rid of all of that exterior challenge, um, then we approached the Conard Foundation for a grant to restore the plaster and especially the damaged plaster. So this particular restoration, we began the day after Holiday Pops, lowered the chandelier, and uh, they began erecting the scaffolding, which took five days just to put the scaffolding up. And uh, they worked, they've just been working around the clock uh, with extra painters to get this project done. It's amazing when you're up close and personal to some of these areas that haven't seen people, you know, in who knows how long. Mm -hmm. There were several areas, especially around the crown, that the paint was literally falling off and, and flaking away. And then there were sections of uh, just paint that had faded. It's actually the original paint from 1928 that's up there. So uh, they were dealing with colors that had faded and they had to then match all of, all of, the, all of the colors. There's approximately, just in the blue alone, about six shades of blue in graduating colors. They've been redoing some plaster areas that were broken and, and repainting and, and repointing all of the work so it's vibrant and very pretty. I mean, this is certainly a crown jewel in Mansfield and when you look nationally at how many theaters have not made, made it through the recessions and, and uh, all of the changes, we are so fortunate in Mansfield to have the Renaissance. And uh, I mean, I get very emotional when I think about just how this theater looked in the 1920s and we, we hope we can start to bring it back completely to when you walk in it you feel like you're back in time and uh, it, is, it is just a magical place.